Hi Gracians, I'm Pastor Wai Ching, one of the regional pastors in Grace Assembly. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. Today we will be looking at chapter 9. The application question for this chapter is, how can I be healed of guilt and shame? Chapter 9 explains how the Old Covenant, kept by the system of animal sacrifices offered by the High Priest, had to be repeatedly done for it was unable to remove their guilt of sin. The old system points towards a better system in which our sin is forgiven through the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ is a once and for all, permanent and completely effective solution to sin. The key verse I have chosen is verse 14. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our consciences from sinful deeds so that we can worship the living God. For by the power of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. Jesus Christ is perfect. He never sinned. He willingly put himself through the extreme test of shame, torture and death on the cross to be the perfect sacrifice as the atonement for our sins. Unlike the blood of the animals, Jesus' blood could cleanse us from our sins and make us righteous before God. Anyone who puts his faith in Jesus' complete work of redemption receives forgiveness of sin and is set free from guilt and shame. There was a time when I made a grave mistake which impacted my family adversely. I was stricken with guilt and shame because I was careless and too proud to ask for advice. I was angry, fearful and even depressed. All I could do was to sit before the Lord and cry. One morning, as I was listening to a song, Nothing But The Blood Of Jesus, God reminded me that Jesus also endured shame and suffering and He died a humiliating death on the cross. Jesus understood the depth of my pain and sorrow. Because Jesus suffered on the cross and endured the pain, I could come to the cross and embrace my pain and endure the suffering. And in the darkness of my soul, I met the Lord Jesus Christ once again. I wish I could say my fear and guilty conscience was removed instantly. But no, it was a slow, arduous process of trusting the Lord daily. I'm not sure what the future lies, but I know the one who died for me is faithful and powerful. I cling on to his promises that he has forgiven me. I am made whole and righteous before him and he is transforming me daily to be a better imager of God. Some of you may be feeling guilt-stricken and ashamed for something that you did. Or perhaps you are living in guilt or shame for something that had happened to you that was out of your control. Know that Jesus bore our grief and hurts on the cross at Calvary. Jesus understands the depth of your sorrow and hurt and He carries your shame and your guilt. Trust in the complete work of Jesus' blood for His forgiveness and salvation. Today, you can lay your sorrow, your guilt and your shame at the foot of the cross. Would you come to Jesus and receive His grace and mercy? Would you allow Him to love you, to forgive and restore you? You may say this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for my sins. I'm sorry for the sins I have done. You bore my shame and guilt on the cross, and today I leave my grief and hurts at your feet. Please forgive me of my sins. Heal me and restore me. I receive your love for me. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me. May we live a life free from guilt and shame because of the perfect sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a blessed day.